another hard fought physical CAA game. Uh, really happy we got the momentum we did early um, because as you can see in the CAA, regardless of halftime scores, uh, everyone's gonna come out and battle in the second half. So a little bit of a tale of two halves, but really proud the way our defense stepped up and stopped them on a few fourth downs. We won the turnover battle, I believe. So that's uh, huge in our favor. That's always big. We talk about that all the time. And then uh, we, we were able to move the sticks at the end when we needed to. So really proud of the way our team played today. Big physical game. We knew it was going to be. And uh, that early lead really helped us maintain the victory today. How was that fast start uh, changed the complexion? Yeah, I don't know how much it changed it because, uh, you know, they deferred. We took the opening drive, had a nice drive. Then we got that big play when they started. They threw a pressure at us, so we hit the big play to make it 14. So the momentum there was huge. Um, we we kind of had a little bit different approach because normally uh, we usually rush more than three on defense. So our, our D linemen had to work their tail off today because a lot of times there's only three-man rush because we wanted more guys in the coverage. So it seemed like Ferg was sitting back there for a little while and, when that happens, he's able to, you know, get some balls downfield. But our defense stepped up big. The picks, the turnovers, and, uh, you know, they were down in scoring position at one time. We got the pick by Pickett and uh, number 24. And then uh, a big play of the game, to be honest with you, was the, the miss that number two, the receiver, had down the sideline because that could have changed the complexion of the game if he uh, secured that and scored at that point. But defense stepped up. Offense moved the ball when we needed to. Got to convert the field goals, and uh, got to. I'd rather get touchdowns as opposed to field goals. But we left uh, some points on the field, and we'll make the corrections, and uh, we'll we'll fix the correctables and accentuate the positives, and uh, you know get back to work on Tuesday for the next one. Dan, what was working for you guys? And obviously, it seemed like almost you, you could move the ball well. You guys did everything you wanted to tell us. Yeah, I mean, anytime you run the ball well, especially early on, you know it sets up for a lot of stuff. And I think uh, Coach Purdy did a fantastic job uh, calling plays. I mean, we were just trying to keep it the same. I mean, we all trust each other. We all have each other's back. So I trust that when they have the ball in their hands, they're going to make plays because they trust me to get them the ball. We had a couple of draw plays for the touchdowns. How much did that cut it down in the end? It's always fun to score, but uh, it doesn't matter how we do it. It's good ball. I mean, as far as the pass, yards or things like that. And as Coach said, we try to uh, take some of our linebackers and use it in terms of things like that. So the D line is just to get as much pressure as we can, get to him and try to rush the ball out of out of his hands. And I feel we did that a couple of times. He he rushed a few throws, and he got some of those throws off, and they, and they were completed. But it was just to keep working. Like that's what D line is supposed to do: just claw and keep working. So that's what we tried to do. No matter if we were getting there or not, it was the next play. Try to get there. Next two games are on the road. I, and I, that's probably two of the toughest places to play in this league. As Coach will tell you, I, you know, how important is to have that, this momentum going into those big next couple of weeks? Uh, we're just taking it one week at a time. Uh, right now, we're just going to celebrate the win tonight. We have to work tomorrow for winning there. Any word on the knee? What, what was the deal? Uh, we got to wait. You know, he hurt his knee when he planted there and made that really good open field tackle on the punt coverage. And uh, we gotta, we got to get an MRI. You know, we got to take a look at it. But, you know, he hurt his knee. Uh, he came out and, uh, you know, obviously he's down in the locker room. And, you know, he's one of our true motivational type guys, just the way he plays and the energy he brings. So I know that took a little bit of a wind out of our sails at halftime, but our guys really responded. And they're going to rally around him regardless of what it is. So hopefully it won't be too uh, critical and we'll see what happens. We'll probably find out Monday or Tuesday, to be honest with you, because that's when we usually get him in to see the doctors. So a lot of guys coming up to him, you send him a card. What were these guys saying to him? I mean, we were just trying to be there for him. Uh, I mean, this is a family. Uh, when your brothers go down, you know, you just want to make sure that he's good, you know, go console him a little bit and, uh, you know, keep his energy up even though it's, it's tough. You know, Bartley's been getting some good production off the bench tonight. It's, it's kind of rare for a freshman running back. What, what, you know, what makes him able to kind of jump in and, and, and do the job? Well, he's done a great job picking up the system. Uh, you know, Jalen Jackson was not suited up today. So, you know, last year Jalen was kind of our number three as a true freshman. And D. Will and, and TD uh, were kind of working that spot this year. But with Jalen out, uh, D. Will had to step up a little bit. And he's been doing a great job over the last couple weekends. And he's similar to the other guys. He uh, actually has really good cutting ability. 
but he's like Cove and like Jalen, where he's got some good strength. So he does a good job running through the uh, early arm tackles and the interior part of line of scrimmage. So we're really pleased with his progress and everyone's stepping up. So uh, hopefully we can keep that continue and hopefully get Jalen back for next week. And, and, and again, that the, the four game rule with the whole red shirt thing, it, it benefits guys like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it benefits everybody, you know, um, especially with a roster of only 88. That's where the 88 strong comes from. Our roster is only 88. We probably have one of the smallest rosters in, in the CAA, if not all one double A. Because um, you're allowed to have 110 in preseason practice, and we're at 88. So it, it definitely uh, benefits. We have some guys right now that, you know, with this being week five, uh, they're past the four game rule. So they're going to keep getting experience and keep playing like a D will and stuff like that. So um, next man up, that's the philosophy. And regardless of what uh, year they are, we're going to play the guys that we think could help us, uh, you know, win games. Blake, this defense seems so opportunistic. Can you put your finger on the highlight? I mean, Coach Ola, <clears throat> like he, he really emphasizes disruption, which is getting the ball out, getting the ball and when it's in the air, things like that. And a, and a lot of times these last few weeks, we've missed a couple of picks that could have been there, a couple of chances to strip. So this week especially, he really emphasized getting the ball. You know what I mean? You want to get the ball carrier, but he wants us to get the ball. So when, when you have the D coordinator and he, and he pushes us and he keeps that in our head, I think that's that's how how we come up with those those plays. It's like when you see it, just get the ball. You know what I mean? For Mark, uh, you've had uh, the issues the last few years here with uh, quarterback injuries and stuff. How important has it been to have Daniel not only to be playing well these past five weeks, but be out there and be a practice consistent and not having a question of who's a, who's going to be behind the uh, line center? I think you could probably answer that one as well as I can. So you know, uh, yeah, that did affect us the last couple of years and the injury and all that, but it's a physical game and injury is going to occur. So uh, we'd like to keep everybody healthy as much as we can and to have Dan, you know, continue to uh, progress the way he has and picked up our offense and control the offense on the field, uh, you know, is phenomenal. And, you know, he's just a competitor and he's a composed player out there and he does a great job uh, reading what the defense has given him. That's what he tries to take what they give him. So just excited that Dan's, uh, you know, still standing in week five and let's keep it going. Mark, you said you're going to take it one game at a time, but obviously being five and very exciting. How do you try to take it one game at a time and stay very focused? On That's just what our guys talk about. It really is player driven as much as anything else. And, you know, you hear coaches all the time, let's try to get to one and oh this week. Well, that's what we're going to try to do this upcoming week. And our guys have done a great job, uh, you know, keeping their feet on the ground and uh, keeping level heads and all that stuff. And it really comes from the guys. And, you know, they're the ones that are going to continue to motivate each other. Fans really turned out in numbers today. How was it like to be in front of a crowd like that? How does that help you guys get motivated in the game? I'll let the guys answer that. They're the ones playing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it's great. You know, it's great to get a lot of support from students that you go to class with and things like that. And to see them turn out in the game, especially with our stands, like people walking down the uh, down by the gate, you just see them. And it's just motivation. It's like you want to play for the people that you go to school with. You want to show out. You want to play good. So I feel like that that is a big big factor. Yeah, and, and we work so hard that it, it's nice to see people come out and see what we've been putting so much work into and to, to give them the kind of the, the final product every Saturday. Um, so it's really exciting to see all our classmates out there and, and uh, everyone who turns out. And I will add to that as far as it's awesome to have Nova Nation behind us and coming out to the games. We've had two home games. The turnout has been phenomenal. So I hope the not only the student body, but the alumni and the uh, you know, the supporters behind the program, our football club out in the back with the continuing uh, of tailgating and so on. We're just real excited that we have people behind us, and it's awesome. Who doesn't want to play in front of a packed stadium? Thanks, guys.